If you watched my last video, you saw how to set up Assembly for Visual Studios. Now, I will show you how to set up the Irvine 32-bit library. So, let's say I wanted to print out the number 5 to the screen. I type that in and I start without debugging. And you'll see I'll, I'll get these errors. And that's because I don't have the 32-bit library installed. I'm not using it. And you need that in order to print things on the screen. Now, there's other ways to print things on the screen using C uh, functions. You use the C calling convention for that, but that's a little bit more complicated, a little bit uh, more in depth and harder to do. First off, I should note that for all my assembly projects, I'm using the book Assembly Language for x86 Processors, Seventh Edition by Kip Irvine. Um, you can buy the book from him or find a PDF online. But yeah, anyways, let's get started. And we're going to go to Kip Irvine's website. KipIrvine.com Go down to Assembly Language for x86 Processors. Then to get started with MASM in Th Visual Studios 2015, click. Then click this link here under Install the Books Example Programs. Then to Example Programs and Link Library Source Code for the 7th edition. Click. And I'll go ahead and wait till it's done downloading. So once you got that, you're just going to click here. Uh, go ahead, click next. 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 Close. Uh, go to your downloads folder. Uh, I guess I downloaded two of them, but anyways, you're gonna click Irvine Seventh Edition. Click Finish. Close. and there you go uh, go to your local disks your C drive and it should show up there um, one thing to keep in mind is the Irvine uh, library folder should always 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 be under your C drive uh, or else it's not gonna work and uh, if you go in here you can just browse or it gives you a lot of examples and things we'll be using but uh, anyways so go ahead and exit out of that now, um, this still won't work because the uh, these directives are, are set up for uh, different things. And um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and copy and paste this template I made. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description for that. So let's say I wanted to write the number 5 on the screen. Now uh, I type that in, but it still is not going to work because I got to set up the uh, properties here. So uh, first thing, if you watched my last video, you, you, I think you've already done this, but just to make sure, double check, uh, just go under general and just make sure this is this says micro, Microsoft Macro Assembler. Okay, and also just double check here if you right click and go to uh, build dependencies and customizations. Masm is checked on. Okay, check. So now you're going to go to tutorial, right click, go down to properties, 
um, under linker. You're going to go to additional library direct uh, directories. You're type in c colon slash Irvine. Okay. Then uh, that's it. Then uh, you're gonna go to input. Here you're gonna type in Irvine thirty two dot lib and semicolon. Then we're going to go to Microsoft microassembler to general include paths c slash Irvine and that's it press ok ok now let's re we're going to run this Ta-da, you see the number five printed out. Uh, now everything works, you can print things on screen and do a lot of other things that you couldn't do without the Irvine 32-bit library. And uh, that's it for now, and thank you.